Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit where user Mr. Bumminus asks, what's the best case of instant karma that you've ever seen? While working for the fire department on a call for a multi-vehicle rollover accident on the interstate, we got on the interstate one exit away, running into traffic, so we moved over to the emergency lane with lights and siren. We were about halfway there and a BMW pulls in front of us trying to cut through the traffic. He didn't even look. I laid into the air horn and he came to a complete stop with his middle finger out of the window. I'd had a lot of people doing stupid things when seeing lights coming at them, but this guy was being an ass for the sake of being an ass. He got out of his car and started screaming at us. Meanwhile, he was blocking the only fire engine and two ambulances available. People were really hurt half a mile away. And he was making his stand because we honked our air horn at him for blocking us. I looked out of my mirror to see a highway patrolman running between lanes towards us. He was pissed. BMW boy was immediately arrested. His pretty car got pushed out of the way into a ditch and he went to jail. The people in the accident were hurt bad and two cars had to be cut open to get people extricated from bent metal. It was frustrating. Used to commute to DC from 40 miles away. Driving home one evening, this dude decides he must merge into my lane now. Beeping and all, he pushes me off the road. The car behind me was a cop. As soon as I was on the shoulder, lights and sirens went on and the dude was pulled over. Where I used to live was a rural area on the outskirts of a small city in Australia. I was heading home from work one night and the road back to my place is several kilometres long and dead straight. Cane fields on either side and no streetlights so it was very dark. Many people speed down the road because it's a back road and rarely patrolled by police. I was driving along doing the speed limit of 100 kilometres per hour and this guy comes roaring up behind me with his high beams on. He sits right behind me then tears around to overtake and takes off doing at least 120 kilometres an hour. Less than a minute later he must have hit the dirt shoulder and he starts to lose control before hitting a slight dip and literally flies through the air into a cane paddock. At this point it's a mixture of absolute shock and wanting to laugh my arse off. Then. The red and blue lights flash up ahead, not 50 metres from the guy. I had never seen a cop on this road before that night, so I couldn't believe it. I pulled up to ask if he needed any help from me and he goes, Nah love, you get home, I got this dickhead. Double instant karma. It was my own karma. I was in 8th grade. I was standing on a bench when I watched some girl fall over in the yard, started laughing and pointing and then went to lean back onto the fence that was behind the bench. Turns out it was broken off where I was standing and I fell straight through and into the mud. I'm in the New York City subway. A guy elbows me out of the way to get into the turnstile first, yelling vaguely that he has a train to catch. No shit. Through the turnstile, turn the corner and there are a few cops set up near a folding table and he gets pulled to have his bag searched. I worked at a grocery store. I was stocking instant noodles on a big sale display. All I had was a cheap small step to step stool. You know the one with the bar that runs across the top step? Reaching down to the stool from the shelf I was standing on was about three feet. I had a 60% chance my foot would land on the top bar and collapse the thing. I asked a co-worker to use his shoulder as a handle as I got down my supervisor called me a princess for getting assistance. Soon after, he was stocking the two litre Coke bottles on a sales display. He tried to get down. He took the 40% success rate and jump onto the step, hit the top bar, the step ladder collapsed. He broke his arm and took down half of the display. I just clocked out and left before they told me to clean up the spilled soda all over the place. That time I had my shoes stolen. I was 17. Went to a party where there were kids from two different high schools. When I went inside, I took off my brand new Nike Air Madden shoes that I had just bought for $140. Hours later, when I went to leave, my shoes were gone. We had an idea of who took them, a guy from the other school, but didn't have proof. I was so sad and so embarrassed. I had to drive home in my socks. Long story short, a week later, Monica, the girl who threw the party, 
shows up on my doorstep holding something behind her back. Turns out she went to a party and saw the guy who stole my shoes wearing them. When he took them off after a smoke break, she snagged them. Now, standing in front of me, she reveals my Nikes. She told me the best part was watching him look for them just like I had and then leave in his socks. Asshole kid in middle school kept trying to steal my cell phone. It was a cheap flip phone, but he'd do it just to piss me off. Our school had a rule that you couldn't have your phone out in class. Teacher left the room for a second to have a brief word with an administrator. Jerkass kid grabbed my phone. Teacher came back in a moment later and caught him red-handed with my phone out. She wouldn't believe it wasn't his phone. He got detention. The first time I ordered sushi, I was on a date. I thought the wasabi was avocado paste. I stole my date's avocado paste and put generous amounts on all my sushi bites. I kept repeating, I had no idea sushi was so effing spicy. My date couldn't figure out what I was talking about as snot ran down my face, as the sushi we shared was definitely not the spicy kind. I finally admitted that I stole the avocado paste and my date couldn't stop laughing. I totally deserved it. In the UK, kids wear blazers and ties to school and a common bullying tactic that jerks used was to run up to kids, pull their ties so they got really tightly knotted. On the bus home, the bus was really full and I was standing in front of one such bully. He grabbed my tie just as the bus had to break sharply. He lost his footing and the only thing keeping him upright was the fact that he was holding my tie. He grabbed the wrong bit. It wasn't knotted. I simply untie it. He fell on his butt. Everyone in my school had clip-on ties and because of the strict dress rule, some bullies would yank them off and wouldn't give them back. However, some people had proper ones, usually as a replacement for losing them. One of my friends had one and some arsehole yanked it really hard, causing said friend to accidentally headbutt the dude in the face, giving him a nosebleed. My dad told me this story. He was driving back from the shore when traffic got really bad. About a mile ahead, there was an accident that had brought traffic to a crawl. Shit happens. My dad decides to be patient about it. Others weren't so patient. People began driving on the shoulder in order to get ahead of the traffic. This pisses my dad off. We all know how this goes. We do the right thing and are punished for it. Whereas these assholes are skipping in front of traffic and will probably get away with it. He thought about following the stream of cars onto the shoulder, but he decided he'd do the right thing and wait. As he got closer, he saw two cops in a parking lot. One cop was directing all of the shoulder drivers into the parking lot, while the other wrote all of those drivers' tickets. He described it as one of the most satisfying things he had ever seen. My boyfriend has a big GMC, and one winter it was really snowy and a bunch of cars had gone into the ditch, as you do. Because he's a nice guy, he was spending his day off pulling people out for free. At one point, while he was helping someone, some asshole flew by him, wailing on the horn and flipping him off out the window. He got done pulling the car out and headed up the road in the direction that Jackass had gone. A mile up the road, they found him standing outside of his car, which was now ploughed into a giant fucking tree. Boyfriend honked his horn, waved and kept driving. Dude just hung his head like a scolded dog. Truly beautiful. I used to be a zookeeper. This bitch was making fun of our llama for looking ugly. The llama was a rescue who had corrective jaw surgery. The bitch pointed and laughed at our llama. The llama spat in her mouth. I gave the llama a treat and told her she was a good girl. I cut my finger on a first aid kit at work trying to boost a few extra bandages for the home supply. <laughs> Took a full flight home from Hawaii. I go to my assigned window seat and notice a grumpy woman is sitting in it. I politely tell her she's in my seat. She looks at her boarding pass and sure enough she is supposed to be sitting in the aisle seat across. She starts arguing that she must sit next to her husband and she's not moving. I decided it's not worth the hassle and take the seat she is supposed to be in. I don't even get a thank you or anything from her. Once we're in the air, the onboard entertainment of free movies and shows is available. I look over and see her yelling at a flight attendant that her TV is broken and doesn't work. The flight attendant apologises and explains that the flight is full 
and there's no other seats to move her to. She had the pleasure of enjoying a five hour flight with zero entertainment. I drive a car that draws a lot of attention. It's a pretty quick car and it looks it. I often get people trying to coax me into racing them away from lights, to which I can never be bothered. Plus, I'm a big advocate of there being a time and a place for that and our streets are not it. About six months ago, I had one kid trying to get me to race him. Sorry kid, not gonna happen. But I give him a little rev to let him think that it's going down. Lights go green, I pull away at normal speed and he shoots off in a cloud of smoke with an unmarked police car close behind him with lights and sirens going. I slow down as I go past him and turn to blow him a kiss. I then probably run into the rear end of another car that had stopped suddenly. Instant karma for both of us. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.